So as we've talked about before, one of the great things that ScreenFlow will allow you to do is it will allow you to record a presentation on your desktop that then you can export as a video. Um, I have a presentation here. It's inside ScreenFlow. It's a presentation on positive and negative space. It's a little bit less than 10 minutes in length. And uh, what I'm going to do is just take you through the steps for editing in just a simple, um, simple kind of presentation. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, obviously I've saved my document. <laughs> uh, the first thing that I want to do is figure out the starting point for my file. And so I'm going to come down here to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and we're going to zoom in. And even by just looking at the uh, timeline here, I can see where my presentation is really starting because of the uh, waveform or representation of the audio file that we have here. And so I don't want to make my viewers sit through those first uh, 35 seconds. So we're going to come right up here, and uh, if we so hit play. And so you can see how uh, we're starting to talk here, and we've got the title on the screen there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the, probably start the document right there. Um, so what I want to do is trim off the material that's here at the beginning. And so if I select both of these, I can uh, click a little bit below my uh, screen recording a track here and uh, then draw a box that selects both of them or I can select one and then hit the shift key and select another. So it doesn't matter which way you do it but because these two tracks are in sync with each other we want to make sure to trim both of them at the same time. Uh, so there's a keyboard shortcut which is T which allows us to uh, trim the clips um, but I'm going to show you how to do it up here in the edit menu so that if you forget the keyboard shortcut you'll know where to go. Uh, so we've got edit and then split clips. Uh, so And then you can see the keyboard shortcut is represented over here. So if I do split clips you can see that now uh, we have two uh, clips on either side of my playhead and the previous uh, portion of the timeline is now selected. Because those are selected in yellow, I'm just going to hit the backspace key or the delete key and that gets rid of them. But that still keeps the 35 seconds of space here. So if I right click or control clip, you can see that there's an option for close gap and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to do that for both of these tracks because again we want everything to stay in sync and then I'm going to move my playhead back down to the beginning of my track. So we've got this here. If I play through, so one of the big things that we want to talk you can about uh, play by hitting the space bar or you can use the player controls that we have here. Um, I can see that I have a little bit of an intro uh, before I get into the uh, actual part of the presentation. So I've got my uh, positive and negative space presentation and I've got my image here. If this is all that I need uh, for my presentation and I know that I just want to uh, have that there throughout the entire part of the presentation, then that's fine. Um, all I have to do is drag my playhead over to the end of the presentation. So when I got to the end here, I stumbled a little bit. And I can either keep that in the presentation or I can edit it out. So I'm going to show you how to do a simple edit. If I zoom in, and I'm just using my slider over here, uh, you can see where I have a little segment here. And I'm going to figure out what it is that I'm saying at this point. And translating that to the political message of uh, not texting and driving. So. Okay. So we can see where we are there. I'm going to uh, select both using that shift key and use T to uh, trim that up. And now I want to figure out where that fits in. Text and drive. So a pretty, uh, you know, it's speaking to the idea of this positive and negative space. If you're looking at the white, you're seeing the letter. If you're looking at the black, you're seeing the dog. And translating that to the political message of... Um, the, uh, so this is where I stumbled a little bit, and so I just want to move this over. So there's a couple things I could do. I could come over here and I could select T, and it would cut that, and then I could delete these two. Um, but let's show you a different way to trim so that you have another tool. Uh, if I move my uh, mouse over the edge of these two selected clips, you can see that we get a little uh, trim bar uh, that pops up. And so if I click and drag, 
when that's showing up, I can uh, lock it to my playhead. And now if I select these two and slide them back, then we'll just have a hard cut there in the middle. The black, you're seeing the dog, and translating that to the political message of uh, not texting and driving. So hopefully, hopefully that resonates with you as well. And then this is where I want to uh, stop my presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll again. You can see that scroll bar comes up. And I can just click and drag, and that's the end of my uh, presentation. So that little, uh, there's a little bit of a hiccup there, but at least that stumble isn't in the track anymore. Um, so from here, I would just export the file, and then I would have my presentation. So that's a, just the basic, uh, simple way to export your presentation that shows you in the video um, and your presentation on the screen.